We're here with uh, Dr. Margaret Town, and uh, she did her work in um, creation, uh, evolution, and uh, just, uh, maybe you can just say a few words about how you got involved with that and why you wrote your doctorate on that. Well, I'm a biologist that went to seminary and I've been active in the church and I've seen how divisive that subject has been among Christians. Uh, it has divided the Christian world in terms of how we interpret that scripture. And so when I went to seminary, I learned about how there's a lot of different ways, not all scripture is literal. And then I thought, well, I'm going to do my dissertation on this subject. and. I got into the area of critical thinking. My professor who encouraged me to do the doctorate was a critical thinker teacher. And so my dissertation was titled The Influence of Critical Thinking on Christians' Belief and Belief Change with reference to creationism and organic evolution. And this idea of loving God with our minds. We love God with our heart and our soul and the idea God gave us a mind and we need to weigh the data, and we need to analyze who are our authorities, and keep an open mind, and be willing to change, and not feel that change is wrong. And even to doubt that it's okay to doubt, because some things aren't clear, and sometimes it takes a long time until we finally get to the point where we can make a decision. And it's okay to say, I don't know, sometimes, we're being the people who say I don't know sometimes are the people who have weighed the sides more than people who know because the more they know the more they know they don't know and it's very hard sometimes to make decisions on these things so that's kind of how I got into it and then you wrote a book uh, honest to Genesis uh, you just uh, quickly tell about that or? Well, I had the Jurassic Park paleontologist, Jack Horner, on my doctoral committee, and he said that he has been harassed by Christians a lot because, of course, he's an evolutionist, and he said, I would really like to work with a Christian who can see the aspects of evolution, and I, and he said, you really should write a book on this, and so I, my book is written so that people see that it's okay to affirm that God was the creator and that he just maybe took a little long than six 24-hour days. We don't negate that he is the creator, but we just say, how did he do it? And there's a lot of questions we still can't answer. There's things that we're learning all the time, but then there is data out there that we need to be honest to. And so that's partly why I called the book Honest to Genesis, because we need to be honest to how we look at all the data. And keep an open mind and be willing to change and be willing to listen to new perspectives. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you.